Hi, hello, welcome to another video. This one's going to be on mixins. You might have heard of the concept of mixins, and it's a pretty interesting concept. And in some ways, it's similar to traditional inheritance, but it also has its own nifty details. And in this short video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what mixins are. I want you to think of mixins as a mini class, a small reusable component that adds specific functionality to other classes. It's like adding a plugin to your code. So if you need logging, you can add a mixin, or if you need notifications, you can add a mixin. But the key here is that mixins aren't designed to define the core identity of a class. That's where mixins differ from traditional inheritance. So if we compare mixins to traditional inheritance, what we see is that in traditional inheritance, you're creating a hierarchy. You have one class inheriting all the behavior from its parent class. For mixins, on the other hand, you don't rely on a single parent class. So mixins are like add-ons or plugins, not parents. So the core idea here is that unlike a full-blown parent class, which usually defines the core identity of a class, a mixin is much more lightweight, and it focuses on providing a specific piece of functionality like logging, validation, or sending notifications that can be reused across many different classes. And of course, a code example would make this a lot easier to understand. So imagine you have a class that processes files. You want to add logging so you can track what's happening. Instead of baking that logging code directly into your file processor, you can use a mixin to keep things clean and modular. So logger mixin is a tiny class that provides a log method. File handler does the main file related work and file processor combines both. It inherits the file handling capabilities from file handler and the logging feature from logger mixin. So without mixing in logger mixin, you'd have to manually write logging code into every class that needs it. With mixins, you can just reuse the logger mixin wherever it's needed. And that can mean reusing the mixin across 50 classes. So this really helps with reusability, modularity, as well as flexibility. You write a mixin once and reuse it across multiple classes. And your classes stay focused on what they're supposed to do while mixins handle extra features. It's also very flexible because you can combine as many mixins as you need without creating complex inheritance chains. Okay, let's make this code example a little bit more interesting. What if you need multiple features like logging and notifications? No problem, just mix in both. So if we look at this code snippet, we're combining logger mixin and notification mixin, and we're creating a class that logs messages and sends notifications. Thank you very much for watching. And if you learned something new in this video, please feel free to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to see future videos like this, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell notification for future updates. As always, thank you very much for watching and happy coding.